What advice do you give people, young people in particular, who want to rise to the top in today's business world? I think all of us are basically given very unique talents and gifts. And, and one of the biggest questions that you have to ask, whether you're you know, 17 years old or 45 years old, is what on earth am I supposed to do with these talents that I have? How am I supposed to have an impact in the world? What can I do? I, I harness these, these capabilities, whether it's as a, as a TV interviewer or as a writer or as a businessman, as a salesman, whatever. How do you harness that to have some beneficial impact in the world? And I think if you have that kind of broader mission, if it's not just about your own ego and your, you know, how much money you make and whether you can pay the mortgage and all of that, I think that helps a great deal. I, I, I interviewed someone recently who's a billionaire investor who said to me that one of the one of the qualities he looks for in the people he hires is actually generosity. Because he said if, if it's really just about the money, then at some point their, their sense of drive and discipline kind of dissipates. And, and so you have to have something beyond you where uh, you know, you're, you're a little more philanthropic or you, you want to use your talent somehow to help other people. And the, the other thing I would say is there's tremendous pressure to conform and to do what other people expect of mm -hmm. you. And, and, and I think it's really important to be true to yourself, to figure out, you know, what actually will make me happy? What will give me satisfaction? What will make me proud? And I think it's a, there's a tremendous pressure to, to make a living, and we all have to do this, and, uh, you know, we need to support our families and the like. But I think you can very easily get stuck in, in, in a profession that you don't like, that doesn't give you joy at all. Mm -hmm. And on the whole, you're not going to be very successful if you're doing something that doesn't give you pleasure. So I think, I think to have the strength of mind to, to sort of look inwards and say, am I being true to myself? And if I'm not, maybe it's time to make a change. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think those, those, are, those are very important kind of filters for how to look at one's career.